there, I am here to offer a course on building materials as a cornerstone to sustainability. Under this NPTEL course, I will be discussing about five classification of building materials. We will look at an overview of traditional building materials, their environmental significance, the cultural aspects, the environmental benefits and the advantages and limitations of various traditional materials. We will be classifying the building materials as traditional building materials, alternate building materials, innovative building materials, advanced building materials and smart materials. Under traditional materials, we will go through mud, stone, thatch, bamboo, various type of carbon neutral, eco-sensitive binders, straw bale, laterite and its quarry waste. Once we see what these traditional materials are, we will look at what are alternative materials. In this course, I will be approaching alternate building materials as building materials which we use conventionally. But how do we add a dimension to it which will make it carbon sensitive? In this context, we will look at fly ash, furnace lag, cross laminated timber, use of construction demolition waste, hempcrete, papercrete, phosphogypsum, alternate aerated concrete and alternate aggregates. Once we study this, if you are someone who is interested in innovative building materials, where there is a certain drama and dimension added to the alternate building materials. Under this, we will see bioluminescent paints, milk paints and use of recycled plastic. We will see agro bricks and light emitting concrete, carbon dioxide absorbing concrete, mycelium composite bricks, fiber reinforced concrete and geopolymer concrete. Having studied innovative building materials, we will also look at advanced building materials, something which are in its nascent stage and yet has an architectural application. Under this, we will be seeing carbon sequestration, its meaning and carbon sequestered bricks. We will also be seeing eco-bind bricks, bioluminescent paints and permeable concrete. After this, we will conclude this course with a, you know, a capsule of smart materials. Smart materials are upcoming materials that can really aid us functionally as well as environmentally in creating a positive environment. Under this, we will look at two systems. First is smart windows and second is use of LCD. When it comes to smart building materials, come explore with me very new, interesting and different building materials such as photochromics, thermochromics, thermotropic materials, phase change materials, electroluminescence, titanium dioxide in architecture, mechanochromics and chemochromics electrochromics and nanocellulose bricks. We will be looking at the characteristics, advantages of these materials, limitations of these materials, the applications of all these building materials. Most importantly, case study and applications of these building materials in architecture. If you are an architect, civil engineer, designer, interior designer or anybody associated with the building industry, I am sure this course will be of interest to you.